Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share a review of an Australian picture book, Hooray Hooray, It's Library Day by Julie Ann Grasso and Heath McKenzie. This book I came across because I follow the author's podcast. Julie Ann Grasso is one of the co-hosts for the Middle Grade Mavens podcast, which is a really fantastic middle grade and kids book podcast. And I was really excited to see this book and it's taken me a little while to get a copy of it, but it's here now and I absolutely adore it. As always, we're gonna start with the blurb. It says, the sun is up, today's the day. The little ones come with smiles so wide and silky bags as big as them. A lonely library book sits on the shelf, hoping for small hands to choose them. Will today be the day they're whisked away for a reading adventure? So this entire book is told from the perspective of a library book. And I absolutely adore this concept because there's lots of books about celebrating books and celebrating libraries and reading. The idea of it being from the perspective of a library book is just so utterly beautiful to me. And so I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. First of all, I love all these end papers. They're all the books sitting on the shelf and they've all got little expressions on their faces, which is just adorable. And the illustrations just celebrate, and the text itself, just celebrate this absolute love of reading. And it is the story of our library book who gets checked out and gets whisked away by its borrower and goes on an adventure to the borrower's house. And all sorts of things happen to this book along the way, like nearly falling out of the library bag on the train and, you know, adventures with dinner and siblings and all sorts of things that happen when library books go home. Through the whole experience the library book is just overjoyed to be out on an adventure and to be borrowed and to be spending time out in the world with someone who is enjoying reading the book. Which is a lovely spin on that I whole idea of just reading being an absolute adventure for anyone and really flipping it so that you know even books have adventures and that's the beauty of them. So as I said I absolutely adore these illustrations they're just so vibrant fun and inviting and bring to life Julianne's words. It's full of really great tier two vocabulary and verbs but there's also some really fun fantastic onomatopoeia in there which makes it really great to use in a classroom as well. It's a great read aloud. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the author, the illustrator and the book down below. I would love to know have you picked up this book or do you know of other books that are told from the perspective of books because you know I love books about books. I have an entire video about books about books I'm pretty sure so I'll leave that linked on the screen. But yeah it's just such a beautiful beautiful book and I'm so glad that I finally picked up a copy. If you just want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave a book stack emoji down below otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.